What is going on, human beings, extraterrestrials, animals, women, boys, children, sloths of all ages? It's me, the manga sloth, back again. I got some manga. Let's check out some manga. First, we're starting off with a banger. This is Full Metal Alchemist 10 of the Full Metal Edition. Guys, you know what these are. They are awesome hardcover beauties and uh, they just look super great. Funny thing with this one uh, here for a second, I actually thought these were his fists. Like he was doing the, uh, you know, like the punchy thing. And then I was like, wait a second, doesn't he wear like brass knuckles? And then I went to the back. Now we see, there you go. These are just big old strong titties. All right, next up we got a throwback. Ugh. We got some Yu Yu shows. Yes, one of my favorite series ever. I love Hunter Hunter. I love Togashi. Despite the poor man being on hiatus forever, I actually bought these because I needed a better number six, which this one is. Uh, I actually own all of these already. So these are going to go on to the sell or giveaway to anybody that wants them. Stack. Next up, we have B Stars number four, number five, number six, and number seven. These are very good. I just decided to pull the trigger. I was going to buy them anyway, so went out on the net and purchased four through seven. Read them already. Very good. And we'll keep reading that for sure. Next up, we have Comey Can't Communicate five through eight. This is a series that my wife reads. I don't know too much about it. I do know that it is getting popular or already is very popular and uh, it is very funny she tells me a lot about it and uh, it's possible I'll be reading that in the future not right now though too much to do all right next up uh, this is also my wives this is the golden sheep number one also don't know anything about this I got this for her uh, for a gift after doing a smidge bit of research to see if she would even like it, she did like it. Um, from what she told me, I do believe it'll be a little bit emotional. Um, it has a really cool cover. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a uh, like a matte finish. I like that. It's a little different than the smoothness. All right, we got Star Wars Lost Stars number one, the manga. I like Star Wars a lot. I like manga a lot. So I bought this hoping that it will be good. I have not read it yet. So if any of you know if it's good or if it just plain out sucks, please let me know. Help me make a better decision to buy more or just stop now. The art looks okay. Doesn't look super duper. Not a lot of backgrounds, it seems like. A lot of white spaces. Oh well, we'll see. Okay, just like my other hauls, I have some Rising the Shield Hero in it. This time though, I said enough is enough. And I went and bought all of them that are out at the moment. So that would be 7 through 13. Give you a good look at these. Here we got 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, and 12, and 13. Very good series, very funny. I've been enjoying it. Uh, the RPG world element is very cool. If you know any other series like this, that you're in a RPG world or somebody in a video game or anything like that, it's very cool. I, I like it. I think there's some more out there, so if you know any, please recommend them to me and let's have a chat let's have s I love manga if you guys love manga I want to talk about manga remember that okay we got my love story number one I have not read this but it looks very funny I don't know if it is funny actually I think it is supposed to be uh, 
the guy is the main character I believe so it's kind of like a reverse shoujo in a way you get the guy's perspective instead of uh, the majority of them which is from the girl's perspective so hopefully that's funny okay next up we have love me love me not I'm not sure what this series is about my wife reads this and she enjoys this I believe it's by the writer of our Haru ride if I'm not butchering that too much if I am apologies so let me know if you love me or you love me not simple as that now we got Dura. Dura, Dura. Is this the name or is this the name? Durarara. Durarara? Oh, jeez, oh man. Butchering this. I don't know anything about this series. I've seen it for a while. I've actually seen it on shelves and it looked like there was a bunch of different series with this. I could be wrong. Let me know if it's good or if it's not so I don't buy any more. I'm gonna be reading this sucker and let me know if it gets better or if it slows down or anything like that if you know all right we got agent number four and agent number five been enjoying this series definitely gonna pick some more up I do believe I got two more coming in the mail waiting for those to arrive Speak of the devil, we got our Haru ride. Very kind of this creator to make a very easy to read thing for the illiterate sloth I am. Let's see, we got Snow White with red hair. And she is nowhere to be found on these covers. There she is. Cool series. Don't know anything about it. Wife has told me about it and seems neat and she likes it a lot. We got Soma Spider So What number five. This seems like a very funny series, though the way the person draws the uh, spider and all the animations and everything, it just seems very funny. Okay, we got Act Age number one. This is also my wife's. She read this and enjoyed it. But I just heard through the grapevine that this person, the writer, I believe, is arrested on some kind of charge. I've heard a couple things, uh, which is a bummer that somebody would do something like that. So I think this is postponed or they're not going to print anymore or make anymore or something like that if anybody knows uh, let me know because maybe you know more than I do if it's gonna continue or not I have no clue all right we got a hard cover special edition Helsing just came out from Dark Horse beautiful just kidding I picked up this for a couple dollars I think two bucks because I thought it was cool that the first volume of the old printed manga is in a hardcover I didn't know that which I think is really cool this is after my last manga haul where obviously I got the big uh, deluxe housing which is gorgeous so I just thought I'd pick this up I uh, thought it was neat that's the only reason I picked it up. And to finish off this haul, we're coming in hot. We are coming in hot with a man and his cat. Oh boy. This is some spicy manga. This will blow you away. Jokes aside, this is a very calm cute kind manga uh, it's a light read it's it's very soothing to read it feels like something you want to read when you get burnt out a little bit I read it after I blazed through the shield heroes and I said I I didn't want to jump into another action thing right away so I just had this uh, I bought this for my wife and I just had it there and I I read through it and it was very cute and uh, 
I actually recommend this. It's really cool. I think the second one's coming out or it's already out. It's just a just a nice manga. And with that, we are now at the end of the video. Thank you for your kindness and your patience with me as I learn how to do YouTube and videos and editing. I am not very good at it. I apologize. I'm doing my best. I am really doing this for you and for me so we can spread the love and the joy of manga, the hobby, sustain the industry, and I just want to chat with you guys. That's all. I want to have a chat and talk about sweet manga. So if you know any sweet manga or you don't know any sweet manga, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching me, The Manga Sloth, and I will see you again next time.